Child, child, child. Welcome to Chrissyville. Hold on. Now my throat is a little scratchy. My nose is a little stuffy. Because I'm sick as a dog. But I'm not going to allow that to deter me from talking about this whole diva curl situation. Now, diva curl. Why is y'all doing y'all customers like that? First of all, for me, um, like I would check out the Diva Curl products as a stylist and I never bought any because for some reason I just didn't buy into everything that, you know, they list as far as what their products are. Like I just didn't, they just didn't do it for me. So... And then plus, it was just something about the name, like, Diva, like, spelled with an E. Like, that E kind of threw me off. So, I was like, no, y'all can't have my coins for, for um, you know, these products. Because, I don't know, it was just something about them. Like, I didn't like the packaging. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything that stood out or anything that look, looked luxurious for the price. Like, if you charging me $40 or you charging me more than $6.99 for something, you better have my stuff with some luxurious bottles, some luxurious glass, or something swirly, twirly, something. But it just wasn't doing it for me for the price. Like, I, just, that's just my personal opinion. But I was looking at all the little stuff that people have been posting about the Diva Curl Company, and it's like going super mainstream now like people have like I've, I've been watching videos on YouTube over the past couple of weeks and people have been you know just expressing the fact that oh my hair fell out my hair is dry my hair is a mess my curls have dropped and I find it that as a stylist um I'm gonna just go ahead and say it the whole no poo, no shampoo, conditioner, conditioner, that's cool, like, sometimes, but you can't make that your regimen. Eventually, that product buildup is going to coat your hair, and your hair is going to turn into straw, because it's so coated with the product that literally nothing can penetrate it, nothing can go through it. I mean, you'll wet it and everything, and it'll, you know, get wet, and you can feel it, but it kind of becomes muddy because it's so greased up with the, with the conditioner. And I feel like once that hair is coated, nothing else is going to be able to penetrate the hair, not even like your natural oils. That's just my personal opinion. And once your hair gets dried out, like that from that product um you need to strip your hair like you need to use something some apple cider vinegar and baking soda you need to use like a a, a strong shampoo i'm sorry i know everybody is over the sulfates and all of that but sometimes you need those sulfates to get that gunk off your hair like your hair is not going to go back to the way it was because you have product buildup on your hair. Now, eventually what I think happened and why they started losing their hair and it started coming out was because of the extreme dryness. That's what I think caused people's hair to come out in like patches at the root. Because I can't think of anything. I just can't think of anything else. But really... What I want to talk about in this video is the fact that, you know, you support these companies, you pay their prices, and then when something goes wrong, they're just like, oh, well, it ain't our fault. It's not us. We don't know why y'all affiliating us with that type of drama. If I got the product from you, right, and others got the product from you, and we're all having the same experience. And we're in different parts of the world. How can you just exclude yourself from being a culprit? Like, that's why I think these big companies become a mess. Because nine times out of ten, they're going to lose the lawsuit. 
they're probably going to end up shutting that company down or renaming it, turning it into something else. And, or they may just stay on the shelves. Like with these companies, they don't be caring. They might update their formula, but then again, they may not because they may feel like it's the greatest product on the planet. And it's nothing that anybody's going to be able to do with that. But my thing, what I don't like is their response. Like, I'm going to just pull it up and read it. Okay, so I just pulled it up here, which it, it, it's just oh so shady. Okay, so. Diva Crow's statement about conversations online. We have created an informational site that will continue to update. You can go to divacurlcare.com to find out more information and answers to frequently asked questions. To our devoted Diva community. Over two decades ago, Diva Curl was born from conversations with people like you and from our salons and stylists about what you wanted and needed to embrace your curls. As a result, our community has grown to include millions of divas around the world who use our products every day. When that conversation includes product and safety discussions, we are as engaged as you are. We are committed to providing the information you need to continue to use Diva Curl with confidence. From the beginning, all of our formulas are subject to rigorous and thorough testing such as stability, microbiological testing, and repeat patch testing before Diva Curl allows any product to be manufactured. During manufacturing, a variety of tests is conducted on each batch of Diva Curl product before it is sent out to salons and customers. This includes testing of pH, viscosity, fragrance, appearance, and microbiological testing to ensure our products meet strict internal quality assurance standards and regulatory requirements before they reach the market. See, I'm, I'm going to just stop for a second because when you start using the same words over and over again, that means you're trying to come up, you're trying to, you know, pad your paragraph and make it longer and make it sound super professional so that people don't question it. And see, with marketing and with these larger companies, that's exactly what they do. They're trying to convince you that, you know, we've tested out this product. We've, we've um, you know, done all that we could do in order to make sure that our products are good. And it's just like, okay, so with all that testing and all that microbiological and all this pH viscosity systems that y'all got, it failed y'all because people are losing their hair. So how did, like, this is just so disrespectful to me. Like, how dare you get up here, but uh, I'm, I'm going to finish reading it. Because some of our community have recently asked more questions about some of our products, we have conducted additional testing at the manufacturer and warehouse level. In addition, we worked with an independent third-party toxicologist to verify the safety of these formulas. All these tests verify there are no safety issues with our products. We don't speculate on why some people are attributing the challenges with their curls to our products. As part of of our ongoing commitment to product safety and satisfaction of the diva community we are conducting additional testing with an independent party please share your experiences with us at customer care at divacurl.com we will go above and beyond to help anyone on their curl journey your diva curl family I'm sorry, but this is just not substantial enough for me. This is not, this is just not suffice. It's just not, I feel like the response was like super generic. Like people are letting you know that there's an issue with your product. So to be a stand up person or a stand up business, the right way to go about it would have been, well, you know, 
I'm sorry that we're experiencing, you know, I'm sorry that you're experiencing the hair loss. I'm sorry um, that you're having challenges and challenging experiences with your curls or, you know, hair loss. Um, you know, we'll try to do all that we can do to compensate or help nurse your hair back to health. If that's what they care about is people's hair. Nine times out of ten, these product companies, especially after they get big, it becomes more about the money than the actual product. Like, we've seen so many lines go from, you know, small salon um, products where the actual stylist or whoever, they were mixing it up on the spot, bottling it up, and selling it from their salon. And you've seen the difference from it being in salon to it meeting the shelves at, like, Target or whatever. The product is not the same once it becomes mass produced. It's just, it's no possible way. Because if you take a product to a chemist, what their job more than likely is going to be is to find things to alter the product and make it more cheaper to produce so that you make the most money that you possibly can off the product. That's their job. So... If you're using pure coconut oil or pure olive oil, they may come up with some BS like, look, we're going to mix it up with this. It's going to give you the same outcome, but it's just going to be, you know, we only going to pay a dollar and dollar twenty five for it. When the coconut oil that you was using may have been um, $15, $20 for like a 32 ounce or something. But the quality goes down when these products hit big shelves and locations. So I clicked on their website, um, the Diva Curl Care, and they just basically have, you know, the same type of spiel that's on their regular website. And it's just like a bunch of BS, like to our beloved curl community, nothing is more important to us than you, and blah, 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 and more blah, 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 and more blah, blah, blah. I'm just not here for none of this. Like, this is a mess. They need to own up to what they're doing because it's obviously some form of connection with these people losing their hair all over the world. I would completely discontinue the use of their products. I would never pick up another one again because people are saying, oh, well, the gel is fine or the so-and-so is fine. When people start having an issue, when you start having an issue with something, you just drop it, period. I will also recommend, like I said, a vigorous cleansing of your hair. You may have to even steam your hair, like, as a, you know, conditioning treatment with just water to kind of, like, try to break those barriers down that that product has actually put onto your hair. This is the main thing. Stop falling for products and stop falling for these things because they're expensive. Expensive products all the time, it doesn't mean a good product. Some people affiliate price point with quality, and that's not always the case. Because a lot of times, like, for instance, if I'm buying an all-natural product, and it's allegedly vegan, and it's, uh, you know, chemical and cruelty-free and all of that, I don't expect it to have fragrance in it. Like, something as minimal as fragrance can flip the whole product and turn it into something else. I want the product to smell as natural, like natural, like if I scrape some aloe out, put a little bit of, you know, some bananas, throw them in the blender. I want it to smell however that natural smell smells from it being 100% allegedly natural. That's how I want the product to smell. I don't need fragrance. All I need is for my hair to look good and for the product to work and not make my hair end up on my shoulders. Like, that's just ridiculous. Stop 
trying these new like I often a lot of the products that I use I've been using them for literally years like forever like 20 years the better products are the products that have actually been around and you can kind of somewhat trace them back to their roots and trace them back to where they came from and you can see the consistency change if it did change but people like people for some reason they like to spend money on certain products just so they can say oh I use Diva Curl you see where that got you so I'm just saying be careful what you pick up be careful with these super crazy product lines and these trends and fads the whole no shampoo trend I think that's absolutely ridiculous it's going to weigh your hair down and it's going to turn out to be a mess I don't care if it happens right away or over time but at some point it is going to happen and I feel like that no poo thing is just no bueno it's just a mess Diva Curl y'all a mess and y'all remember that product when they were selling it on like I remember seeing it on like QVC or something like that but they were big on the conditioner conditioner thing too they were like I feel like I want to say they were one of the first products that introduced this whole conditioner conditioner thing and people here fell out from that so I don't know why y'all keep trying it but anyway I just wanted to have my little rant for the day and thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.